Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. In this episode we are going to take a look in how we can improve our Wi-Fi reception in our homes. And especially if you have a large home or maybe if you have a garage which is not uh, attached to your home, well, then you can have a lot of improvement on your Wi-Fi reception by just simple 3D printing. How's that? Well, you'll see right after the break. What we're going to do today is we're going to take a look in how Wi-Fi reception in homes can be improved. And uh, one of the things we all have is a modem. A modem sends out a Wi-Fi signal and that signal is going to be broadcasted all around. So when we are in that field of reception of that modem, then we know that we can, uh, can have access to the internet by our phones, our tablets, uh, laptops, that kind of things. When you're out of the field of reception, then you need something else to make that field of reception bigger. So here we have a uh, wireless access point, for example. So when I place this somewhere where there is no reception, then I can create reception there by a wireless access point. But sometimes it's not very handy to have a thing like this because, well, for example, uh, if you take my garage, my garage is on the other side of my garden and it's a bit far away. So in my garage, I have no Wi-Fi reception. The only way to place a wireless access point would be if I place it in the garden. And I don't want to have a wireless access point in my garden. I want to have reception in my garage. So what I did for this is I created an antenna. And at first, and I'll show you, I started out with building things like this. This is called a bi-quad antenna. Uh, especially this part is called a bi-quad antenna because this is a double bi-quad antenna. And what this does is it gives you a reception which is directional. So I can point it at my modem and my, my wireless access points and then I can uh, make sure that I have reception from that side. So, uh, for example, if we go to a website, and I'll show it here to you, here you can see that the reception is uh, just to the front of this machine. So, uh, this antenna doesn't receive from the back side, or it does a very poor job there, but it works very, very good on the front side and I talk about reception but Wi-Fi is also transmitting of course. So then I started to look up if there was a uh, thing on Tingy first that could help me because if there would, been a, uh, would have been an antenna uh, system on Tingy first that I could use well that would be great news of course. So I looked it up on Tingy first and uh, I saw that there were a few 1.3 gigahertz biquad antennas and there was war, uh, one double bi-quad antenna, that's the, the one I want to build. <coughs> and uh, this one double bi-quad antenna was made by someone who used foil and he uh, wrapped it around his 3D print. And that's not the way I want to go. I want to go more like what I saw, for example, on YouTube. There are a lot of photos on YouTube you can find on bi-quads and double bi-quads. And uh, those are all made out of copper. So uh, you can use copper wire to make your double biquad or single biquad antenna. And uh, for example, this is a very nice one. Uh, but there are many, many more. So I went to take a look from, well, how should I make one? What should be the dimensions? And then I came up on this website, uh, which is buildyourownantenna.blogspot.nl. And uh, on this website, they gave all the dimensions that you need to have if you want to make such an antenna yourself. And at this point, I started with building it myself. So I went to uh, my workplace. I took some copper wire, which is basically normally the wire you have in your uh, walls uh, to go to the outlets. 
and uh, I measured it all by hand with my calipers and I see that it has to be uh, 3.1 centimeters or 31 millimeters so I tried to make it that way but do you know how hard it is to make a thing this way so so you can uh, fold it and and make it uh, that it's perfectly matching because if you don't then the antenna will will really be bad so I tried it and I tried it a couple of times but believe me those antennas they just don't work uh, because you fold it and and well what you really really need is a mold so what I did I went to 123D design and I created my own mold and this is really handy because now when you put the copper wire inside this mold here then you can't make a mistake with the lengths. So uh, when you place it in this mold, yeah, you, you must do good. Then there is another thing. <coughs> this has to be placed on a reflector. And the reflector has to be a metal plate. And uh, if you do it good, then your bi-quad antenna is placed one centimeter away from that reflector. So what I did, I created something to lean on. So I know for sure that this antenna is placed one centimeter behind or, or in front, sorry, I say in front, in front of your uh, reflector. So first I start to print this thing. So let's take a look on how this printed. And when I printed it, I started to make the markings on how to run my wire to this mold to get it wired correctly. So I'll show you uh, how I made the drawing and then I also show you how to, uh, how to, to, yeah, to do it on the mold. So here we have the mold in 123D design and there you can see that from the middle section the wire goes in and you have to have a lot of wire on, on the top side. Then the wire goes here, then down here and you continue this path till you're at this corner. You go here, you go here and here you stop for a moment. Then you place a little insulation here because you don't want the wires to touch each other. Then you go straight from here to the bottom place here. You go up and make it fold right down again. Then you go here all the way to the top, to this corner, this corner. Then you stop again. You place some insulation here because again you don't want to touch uh, the wires with each other and then you go straight up to this point back to here and you fold it to the inside so basically what you have is at the bottom side there will be two wires coming down and those will both be connected to the ground so what you then have is you have one piece of wire from this side, one piece of wire from that side and they will be connected to each other and they will be the ground. Then the other wire that's coming here, that's coming from here and going to here, this will be the positive side of your antenna. So basically what you do is you solder this point to your antenna and I've done so already. So. Here you can see what I've made already. What I did, I took a uh, cookie uh, jar, a, a uh, 
well, a metal cookie jar. I don't know how this is called in English. Um, I made an antenna uh, connector here just by making a hole through the jar and uh, that hole was big enough for this plug. Then I inserted this plug and uh, what I did is I placed my 3D print on top of it. So uh, when I had it on top I could solder and I don't know if you can see this I hope so I could solder the wires coming from uh, well I have to take a look from the top for you I hope you can see it if not I try to zoom in with this camera so here you can see it uh, so what I did is I soldered those two wires to the metal frame and also to the ground of the connector. Then at the top side here, this part on this side, you can see that I soldered it directly to the positive side of the plug. So the positive antenna side is soldered directly to that. And also you can see I used tape as isolators here and here. Uh, because I want to insulate the, the, uh, the wires from each other. Now, another cool thing from this build is that the wires must be exactly the right length because it will only fit one way. So if you fit in the wires on the correct way, then uh, they can't be too long or too short. They have exactly the right measurements to have your antenna one-on-one, -on -one, which means that uh, all the power you put into it will be, uh, will be given out on the antenna. So this is basically how I made it. I measured all the right sizes and created a mold in which I can place the antenna wire. And then I made it uh, with a plug so I can use this uh, on my uh, access point or on my uh, Wi-Fi card in my computer. I have a Wi-Fi card which can be connected uh, with a cable or with an antenna directly on the Wi-Fi card. And in this way I can direct this thing to my uh, modem which I have in my house. And from my uh, garage, I can point it directly at this modem and make sure that I have Wi-Fi reception. And it works exceptionally well. Much, much better than the antenna I have, uh, which is normally on that uh, Wi-Fi receiver card I have in the computer in my garage. So this works very, very good. And I'll give you all the files to, or it's only basically one file, I'll give you this file on my Thingiverse account. So if you go to my Thingiverse, then you can find this file and you can create your own antenna. Uh, also what I did, I glued it. I used some hot glue to glue the antenna plastic f uh, tight to the, the, the background, to the back panel. And this back panel, because it's uh, the, the lid from a cookie jar, um, this back panel has this, uh, this walls on the sides and this will receive uh, way better than when you have a flat uh, back panel. This back panel can be made of everything that reflects uh, signals. So you can make it out of uh, copper, you can make it out of, uh, well, I, I don't know how this is called, I think tinfoil or something. I don't know the English word for it. But you can create uh, this from almost anything that's from metal because it reflects the uh, antenna signals as long as you can solder to it. So aluminum, for example, won't work because you can't solder to aluminum. Um, well, that's basically it. I hope you liked this episode. Please give it a thumbs up. Also, uh, share it on your social networks uh, for everyone who has bad Wi-Fi reception. And, uh, well, subscribe to my channel, of course, because then you know what I'm making next week. Because every Thursday there will be a new video on creating things. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.